1920s British explorer Percy Fawcett was the real-life Indiana Jones. Obsessed with the idea that a lost civilization was hidden in the Amazon jungles, the true story is brought to life in The Lost City of Z. King Arthur's Charlie Hunnam stars along with Spider-Man Tom Holland. You are the explorer? Give me a hand. Don't be afraid. You dream to be in a forest. I wish to find a lost city. What you seek is far greater than you ever imagined. Your soul will never be quiet until you find this place. It is your destiny. What did you do to become Fawcett? No, I, I was sort of aware very early on that of the emotional breadth um, of that was going to be required of bringing this guy to life. And so I just wanted to do everything I could to reduce the amount of acting that was going to be required every day. One of the big, um, clear um, hardships that Fawcett had to deal with was the loneliness and, that s and to um, reconcile the sense of selfishness that this pursuit required. Uh, and so, yeah, so I, I cut myself off. Um, I didn't make a phone call or send an email or, you know, have any uh, access to or interaction with the outside world for the duration of filming, which was about four months. Don't go. He'll not know you when you return. I know this is a sacrifice for all of us, but it will be worth it. A man's reach should exceed his grasp. I am proposing that Amazonia contain a hidden civilization if we may find a city where one was considered impossible to exist, it may well write a whole new chapter in human history. Are you insisting that these savages, they are equals? Their civilization it may well predate our own. I call it Zed, the ultimate piece of the human puzzle. All of your filming, I guess, was done in Ireland. Yes. Sorry that you didn't get to go to the jungle. <laughs> I actually am. People are surprised. It looks, it looks so breathtakingly beautiful. And I've spent a lot of time in my life traveling and sleeping in kind of, you know, I can sleep in a hammock. I'm not fussy about that. I am not that keen on the idea of, you know, eardrum eating insects and, you know, swimming in crocodile infested waters does give me slight anxiety, but I think I would have enjoyed it. The Lost City of Z is the kind of movie that breathes. It was so nice cool. not to have be hit with aliens or guns in the first two minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what do you tell your friends about this movie? You know, I feel like this movie is, is the modern version of an old classic, you know? And that's what I was so excited about working with James with is he's so old school, you know? And he really respects cinema, you know? We shot this on film. We shot it in the most real and visceral way possible. And I think, as movies go, this is a movie where you really are taken on that journey rather than witness the journey. I strongly advise you to abort the mission. It's become far too dangerous. You must turn back. There is no turning back. I stay here and struggle to provide for the children while you wander the jungle. He doesn't care about us. He doesn't even care about going home. I only care about your lost city. Didn't someone tell you that people do go crazy making movies in the jungle? Yes, I mean, you know, and I thought I was above it. You know, of course, I didn't, I thought, you know, I could plan better and was somehow smarter than Werner Herzog and Francis Coppola. But you, you can't and you're not, you know, you get there and it, it, the, the jungle is, you can't conquer the jungle, you know. You just have to kind of adapt to it as best you can. And about two weeks in, I, the first two weeks I thought, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, it's going to be good. And then about two weeks in a certain sameness starts to creep in and that heat starts to get to you and the bugs and all that and, and then you, a, a madness does set in. A beautiful film and a very emotional story. So be sure to look for The Lost City of Z in your power zone.